Hello, this is Ken Lechter from Coffee Crafters, and today I'm going to show you how to roast coffee on our new Artisan 5 roaster. I actually developed this roaster for myself for my coffee operation in Thailand after I decided to upgrade from my little two-pound roaster to a larger roaster and got the sticker shock that everybody finds when they go out to buy a larger roaster. So I came back to the U.S. and approached Acrofab to build some components for me. And one thing led to another and we decided this might be a good machine to try to manufacture and came up with something that was very easy to operate, uh, easy to install, and easy to maintain. So the machine that we designed actually has two separate components to it. Uh, the part that we applied for patents on was our chaff collection system. And it filters the chaff through a high temperature nylon bag and separates that from the, from the roast air. And then it exhausts at about the same temperature as a clothes dryer. So you can actually vent this machine much like a clothes dryer with a standard hookup with a four inch metal vent which makes it very easy to install. So the first thing we're going to do when we start roasting is uh, we always turn on our our chaff system first because that keeps all of the exhaust air going through. Even when you're pouring the beans in the hopper you get a little bit of, of dust off of there. So we'll go ahead and turn on our, our roast air. Exhaust. And it's running at about 62 decibels, so it's not too bad. But you can actually install that within anywhere within 10 feet of the roaster. So if you'd like to take that on the other side of a wall, as an example, and just hook that up to a light switch, that would make it a lot quieter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dump our beans in the hopper. The Artisan 5 is a fluid bed roaster, so when we dump the beans in the hopper, what we're going to do next is we're going to establish our bean loft. And so this is just like a big popcorn popper. It has hot air going up through the center. Um, so I'm going to turn on the, the system power switch. And what that does is that powers up the bean loft blower. When you turn it on, you'll hear it start running on low because we always want a little bit of air running through the hopper. And then we'll look inside and establish our bean loft. The Artisan 5 has a roast air controller, so we can control the maximum air temperature. And today I've set our maximum roast air temperature at 560 degrees. So if it approaches that, then the controller will shut the heat off and it'll cycle back on and off. And because I'm only roasting a two pound batch today, I'm only gonna use one element. So we'll turn on our, our number one element. And we're roasting coffee. That's really all there is to getting started. We just designed a new bean loft air diffuser. So one of the problems we had early on was that the different sizes of beans would loft differently. So we designed a loft air diffuser, which actually did a couple of things that we hadn't anticipated. Besides controlling the loft air so you can turn the air up and down uh, without the beans going out the top, it also helped us control the length of the roast. So there's really not much left to do. The one thing, this is a manual roaster. so. As the beans roast, they get lighter. As they get lighter, they will loft a little bit higher. All right, our coffee's just about done. We're at 430 degrees. So as we get towards the end of the roast, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut off the heat. That's the first thing we do. We don't need to turn down the air. We'll remove the lid from the hopper, get ready to go, turn off the heat. And that's it. We just roasted two pounds of coffee, probably took uh, around eight minutes. I was using quite a bit of air. So this is Ken Lathrop, and that's how easy it is to roast coffee on our new Artisan 5 roaster. If you'd like more information, go to www.coffeecrafters.com.